Hi guys and welcome to this week where we today we're talking about enzymes, specifically pectolyase enzyme, also colloquially known as pectolase enzyme. Now, just for the sake of clarity, when we're talking about pectolyase enzyme, or as it's on our website, pectolase, those are actually two different things. Pectic enzymes, and I'll explain what pectic enzymes is just now, but pectic enzymes, the three most common ones that we find, is pectinase, pectolase, and pectolyase. Now, the enzymes that we sell and that we use is pectolyase enzyme, but we put it on the website as pectolase, purely because that's the more common name. If people search for pectolase, then... Um, that's what they normally search for on the website. They don't know to search for pectolyase. So it's not intentionally misnamed. Well, it is intentionally misnamed, but there is a reason for it, just because people don't know the difference between them. Now, a pectic enzyme is used to break down pectin. And pectin we find in fruit. It's part of the cell structure of fruit. Now, if you've ever done our C1 introduction to the distilling course or our C10 comprehensive distilling course, you would be familiar with pectin. We explain it in detail in those courses. Why is it a challenge? Why is it present? Why is it a problem for us? But the main issue is um, it forms methanol or releases methanol into a fruit fermentation. So that creates a problem for us. Now, pectic enzymes is used to break down pectin. It increases our juice and our sugar and our flavor yield from when using fruit. Hence, we use the pectic enzymes to accomplish that. But in doing so, it releases methanol as well. Methyl bonds, methanol bonds, forms part of the pectin molecule that gets released into our fermentation. We use pectolyase enzyme because that binds these methyl bonds, methanol bonds, into other compounds, reducing the overall methanol content of the fermentation, thereby increasing our yield at the end because we get more usable alcohol out that's not contaminated by as much methanol. That's the reason why we use pectolyase enzyme. Now, Pectolyase enzyme or pectolase enzyme is extremely com uh, concentrated. This small little packet, which is about 20 25 grams, this is enough for 400 kilograms of fruit. It's very, very concentrated stuff. So, when we use this, we add this into our fruit mash. Now, there's a couple of things that is required, and if you've done training with us already, you would already know about the requirements for enzymes. Um, time, temperature range, and so on and so forth. I'm not going to go into detail about that now. If you want more information do, about that, I highly suggest that you do one of our training courses. But for pectolyase enzymes specifically, we have to heat up the fermentation to between 40 and 50 degrees. And when we add the enzyme in, we then need to leave it for an hour between 40 and 50 degrees. Now, some people do not like heating up fruit fermentation. Either they lack the equipment to do it if it's done on large scale, because as a rule, fruit fermentations or fruit uh, distilleries do not have mash tons or heated infusion tanks or any of those equipment required to heat up a large quantity of fruit juice. So that's the one reason they don't have the equipment to do it. The second reason is that, yes, when you heat up fruit, you do get a flavor impact. And you don't necessarily want a fruit-based spirit that tastes like a jam or a jelly because you've heated it up. So if you want to keep that natural, fresh fruit flavor, you might want to keep it at a lower temperature, not heat it up. Does that now mean you cannot use the enzyme? No, because if you've done your, re, uh, your training with us, you would already realize how enzymes work. You would already know how enzymes work and that the temperature just ensures a faster reaction doesn't not necessarily require it for a reaction. So you can add the enzyme into the unheated juice as well. It will still work, but it will take much longer in order to give you a full, a full breakdown of the pectin inside the fermentation. The benefit, however, although yes, you are losing time, the benefit is there's no flavor impact. You're keeping that fresh, natural flavor of the fruit, and you're making a much more flavorful product.